Hello, 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 and welcome to my first reaction to Agatha All Along. So there's just a couple of things that I wanted to say before I got into this reaction. First and foremost, if you are new here, I do not watch trailers for the shows that I react to. Sometimes the trailers are fine. Sometimes they can be a little spoilery to stuff that I think would make good reactions in these videos. So as a rule, I typically stay away from trailers. Okay. Um, I don't know much about what this show is going to touch on other than that it is going to focus on Agatha. Uh, I do know, however, uh, a couple of people who were announced to be in the cast of this show. I believe Joe Locke is in this. I believe Aubrey Plaza is in this. And there might be um, a couple more people that I am forgetting. And, um, you know, uh, at the end of WandaVision, way back when, um, I believe that Agatha was put under her very own, you know, TV spell, so to speak. Um, and I'm quite curious if we're going to pick up where we left off there. Um, and, you know, uh, if I'm correct, she's the only one under this TV spell. So I'm quite curious to see how that's going to manifest as opposed to the entire town, um, like we saw in WandaVision, sort of being, uh, you know, in all of that. So I'm, I'm quite curious to, to see uh, how that's all going to go, if that's what we're going to touch on here, but I'm not actually sure. So I'm quite excited to get into it. Let's go. Very somber vibes to start off with. Is she in a crime drama? Another beautiful day. Hey, Nathan. Surprised to see you out here, Detective. There I was, hey, neighbor. On my desk, enjoying the fruits of my undeserved disciplinary action. You punched the suspect. Oh, now a convicted felon. Can't be right and wrong at the same time. Yes, you can. When the chief calls and takes the imagination's <laughs> over, not much of a drop around here, she fall. She was crushed. By what? Something big and heavy. So she didn't die here. She is dead, though, isn't she, Herb? Oh, she's really most sincerely dead. You never know. Ah, the wink. that her brooch? Oh, of course. Of course this shot. So we don't get to see who it is. Of course. Sure. Why not? You don't seem like yourself. Oh yeah? And who is that exactly? I'll try to be more cheerful for you next time, Herb. But right now, this unidentified woman lying dead in a crick has just got me down in the dumps. Well, okay. Let me know when the dental record's coming. The well, okay. <laughs> okay, first of all, love this. Second of all. very true detective intro and I love it. <laughs> Official police business. Excuse hey. me. Excuse me. You use that line at the supermarket checkout too. There are no names on here. But there are dates. We don't use cards anymore. Everything's digital now. Where were you last night between the hours of 1 and 3 a.m.? I, I guess I could run the book title. Oh, can you? <laughs> This book wasn't checked out, it was stolen three years ago. But we have plenty more copies in the actual sciences. Now if you'll excuse me. Whoa. Is everything destroyed? Oh. 
Andrew Ty. Ah, crazy. You're making breakfast smoothies again, Chief. I do love seeing all of these characters, Soil actors back from WandaVision. There were traces of a particular microbial sediment only found in Eastern Europe. I'm gonna get to the part I'm not gonna like. Here I am. There you are! Okay. It's been a long time. What are you doing here? My job. You want to take control of my investigation? If you want to be in control, you can be. She... The, bo the body was moved across state lines. Okay. Is, play? Is this really how you see yourself? Sure. Let's talk about the case. What are your theories? How'd she end up in the ravine? No tracks for the perp. Not a leaf disturbed before forensics showed up. It's almost like she just magically appeared. Magically. Let's stick to reality here, yeah? Sure. If there's one thing we can agree on, it's that these cases- I don't know that we're sticking to reality. Who better to solve the mystery than one of Westview's very own? I mean, you've lived here your whole life. Is that true? Agnes? Uh-huh. I think it's too early to tell, but I think she's infiltrating whoever Aubrey's character is. They both played that scene very well, though. Looks like your brooch is a locket. With- You looking to sell it, Agnes? Hair? How much you offering, Norm? For you? Two hundred. Whose Great. hair now is I it? I know where to start the bidding on eBay. <laughs> Good to see you too, Agnes. Agnes is just just a, a big ball of sunshine in this. feeling if there was a emphasis on a book. Oh, Magnus. Just maybe. Yeah, home, chief. Hey. Go home. You know she could just turn that light right back on. <laughs> Granted, but I have a lead in the case. That's not why I came over. I bet. But go ahead. Eastview. Eastview? See, I thought you turned into a pumpkin that far afield. Hey, I travel. I'm worldly. <laughs> Where have you traveled? Oh. Okay, so what about the car wreck? Uh, the facade is cracking a we'll little bit. We'll in the back seat. I think. Can I ask you something? Yeah. Do you remember why you hate me? No. Are you hiding evidence? No. Well, you're only lying to yourself. I feel like there is so much to unpack here, and I'm excited about it. And also a little nervous. But. Hey! What are you doing? What did you take? Wow. Oh, okay. ah! <laughs> Sorry, I don't need to. He's getting away! Police! Don't you run from me! Police! She said that like a mom. She's like, don't you run from me! Young man! Oh no, oh no. Mm. Yo, 
okay? Oh my god. He came out of nowhere. Ma'am, get back in your vehicle! You alive? Hey, girl. What compelled you to break into the home of a decorated detective? When you say decorated, do you mean suspended without pay? Oh! Yeah, I know who you are. What were you looking for in my house? The respect of your peers in a fulfilling home life. But you were fresh out of both. <laughs> Damn! Damn. The attitudes on these two. What were you after? The road. What road? You of all people should know. <gasps> okay. I don't know what any of this means, but I'm intrigued. What? It's ink. Okay, I don't believe that. I was that. on a road this morning. <laughs> Where were you last night between the hours of 1 and 3 a.m.? Asleep. In bed. Asleep. In. Bed. Total loser? Or totally lying? Let's find out! <laughs> okay! Okay! What do you know about this? Nothing! Nothing! Tell me who she is! I don't know! Tell me what happened to her! Tell she is a piece of work in this! What? <gasps> it's just pictures of someone's front yard or something! Oh! Why oh, whoa, whoa, that? whoa! It's not a. Exoe hoc feminon de fixum. Exoe hoc feminon de fixum. What? What is that? The carmine exoe hoc feminon de fixum. What is that? Exoe hoc feminon de fixum. Okay. I do have some uh -huh, thoughts about all of this. And we'll talk. That witch is gone. And all the copies of the dark hold with her. Leaving you trapped in her distorted spell. But you don't have to stay there. Is it hot? Are you? Yes, claw your way out. Ah, I'm hot. Is it hot? Ooh. Oh, I love this. What? <laughs> oh! She's going through her WandaVision costuming. I love it. There are two Jane Doe's in this case. And you know her name. So what's yours? Shit. What? That's what they said what about the book, to too. You haven't been yourself the past few days. Almost like you got bit by the true crime bug. So, uh -huh. so what? I've just been spouting nonsense and you've just been humoring me? 
I mean, folks been trying to help out, you know, stopping by and bringing you groceries and checking up on you. Oh, my God. Librarian. Chief of Police. Oh, jeweler. <laughs> this is where to die. You know, um... I relate. You seem pretty lucid for a change. Uh, aggressive even. Powerful. What did you say? I said powerful, but but look, okay. She's like powerful, you yeah. say. Can you put on some some clothes? Cause you, cause you're naked. <laughs> yep, d just just a little bit. Just cover up a little bit. This is on Disney Plus, for goodness sake. <gasps> Senor Scratchy. A kidnapping. Eh. But if you're real and not a figment of my imprisoned mind, then that means. Oh my goodness! Okay. <laughs> Since you acquired the dark hold, you hid behind all that dark magic, but then you lost it. And now. That was a slap! You can't kill me. You can't kill me. It's not allowed. It's not allowed. Admit it. You prefer me. Horizontal? Oh my! So take my power. <laughs> it's cute, but you know that would kill me. Just let me get my purple back. My purple back. Find me. I am not the only one that wants to see you dead. Wants to see you burn, or hang, or drown. There are no new options. <laughs> Salem Seven. I expect you'll see them at sundown. Agatha Harkness will finally meet her end. Ugh, it really warms the heart. You'll have a heart. I don't think so. Thank we you. have quite a few more episodes. Okay. Okay. Definitely getting a former lover <laughs> vibes here. Okay. Meanwhile, <laughs> oh, right. you. Wow, I really enjoyed that. Okay. Okay, my lovelies, I uh, just want to start off these post episode thoughts with a little bit of a reminder that this is my first time going through this episode. Um, whereas you have possibly watched it a couple times or watched a bunch of reactions to it all of that because the reason why I'm saying that is because um, 
you know, episodes like this, I feel like with rewatches, you pick up on more little details, more little things. And as much as I really do pride myself in trying to pay attention to absolutely everything, I do think that this episode is one of those that with a rewatch, you just pick up on more. So uh, again, you know, maybe uh, just give me a little bit of leeway uh, when it comes to maybe the little details in this. Okay. Let's just get right on into it. Listen, I loved the vibe of this episode that she's basically in a, you know, crime drama. I loved the true detective esque opening credits. Um, I thought it was just a really, really interesting take on, you know, um, kind of something very similar to WandaVision, which was obviously more sitcom focused, but there is a bit of underlying Agatha trying to figure out what's actually going on. Now, um, obviously she is, she's there deep down in this sort of, uh, you know, spell of Agnes, the detective, but I really loved Catherine's uh, performance in this um, as, you know, I'm not surprised by that by any means. But you could see Agatha sort of turn up for like just a couple of moments every so often and, and just sort of like have this demeanor very quickly of like, wait, what's going on? What? And I really, really loved the portrayal of the subtlety of all of that. I also love the fact that it didn't last too long. And I say that with a little bit of an asterisk because yes, I would absolutely love having a few episodes of seeing Agatha in various different TV genres. Um, I think that that would be really, really interesting. I think that they, especially for spooky season, could have played with a lot of maybe some horror-esque genres and all of that, um, as opposed to maybe a sitcom-esque genre. However, I do like, we, we only have so many episodes. Yeah, we gotta get this going, you know what I mean? <laughs> so as much as I would have loved to see that, I am happy that we kind of got a lot of her sort of coming to over with in this premiere. Now, there is a lot, you know, right off the bat, we um, find out that there is a Jane Doe that has died. And uh, I think that uh, the writers are really, you know, um, trying to right off the bat, make us believe it's Wanda. <laughs> you know what I mean? And obviously more and more clues lead to that um, as the episode goes on. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, the only thing that I'm going to say about that is I'm just saying that, um, you know, there might be more to that. Um, I, I think that there are, I'm, I'm really hoping that Agatha all along has a very clever way of storytelling where things may not be exactly as they seem. That's kind of the only thing that I'm trying to say here. Um, but uh, I, I, you know, right off the bat, you know, saying um, that this woman was crushed. And then obviously, as the episode went along, it was revealing a little bit more. Um, and to the realization uh, that this body is Wanda, and that is kind of the moment that really, um, you know, Agatha kind of snaps back into it. I loved uh, also Aubrey's performance in this premiere. I thought it was phenomenal uh, because I think, you know, I could tell pretty quickly that she was sort of infiltrating, much like in a way Agatha was infiltrating um, with Wanda in WandaVision. Um, I, I think that you could kind of clock that pretty early on. And uh, I am very interested to dive more into whatever relationship that 
formally was and what it has turned into. Uh, very, uh, you know, former lover scorned, but I think there's more to unpack there than just that. Let, let me be very clear on that. And I am uh, really interested to get not just into, uh, you know, kind of just that relationship, but also just the lore uh, of everything and more of the history of Agatha in general. And I think we will get into that here. Um, I am quite, uh, I'm going to reserve talking uh, about uh, Joe Locke's character because I'm, uh, I think, I'm thinking there's more to that too. A lot more to that. And uh, I, I, I'm really enjoying, or I enjoyed so far with this just one episode that I feel like they're, they're portraying a narrative but you can almost feel like there's more under the surface. And it does, as, as different as it is, in my opinion, um, it has some similarities to how I felt when watching WandaVision. So I'm quite curious um, about where they're going to go from here. And uh, I, I, thought it was, I thought it was great. And I loved, you know, seeing everybody from Westview again. Um, I was quite curious to see, as I said, I believe in the beginning of this reaction, how this was all going to manifest if they're not actually under the spell themselves. How, how would that all work? And I think they did a good job explaining all of that within this premiere and everything like that. Uh, but yeah, it, it was great. I'm it, literally, I feel like the best way I can describe uh, how I feel right now is, is I just want to know more. I just want to dive into more. And um, I hope, if I can say a hope for the season, I hope the pacing's really good when it comes to that. The revealing kind of more either lore or, or plot points or stuff that's going on um, while keeping some mystery alive. You know, um, I think WandaVision did amazing at that. And I'm not saying that this needs to be the same, but I, I kind of hope that that's sort of the vibe we get going forward. All right. I quite enjoyed that. All right. Um, this will be hopefully coming out every Thursday uh, on my channel, except the second episode will probably be up sometime uh early next week. Um, and if you want full reactions, head on over to Patreon. And uh, yeah, I'm just really excited to get into this. I hope you guys are excited as well. And I think that is about it. If you would like to support me on Patreon or subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. But if not, I'm just happy that you were here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye!